<sighs> okay, so new today, we have an uninterruptible power supply that we need to replace the batteries for. Mm. <laughs> when I show you the box, you'll understand why. <laughs> So this is one of the boxes that showed up today. Uh, and this box is fine. So you watch, these will be destroyed and these will be just fine. Uh, so first thing, let's open her up. So that box is destroyed, but this box is fine. So let me open. So this one, I don't get why this one showed up. Looks all nice. The other one shows up and it looks like. So you know, it's same smaller box. This box is fine. All right. Let's get our uninterruptible power supply and move on. Well, I suppose we should uh, unbox the batteries because we're going to need to anyway. Yeah, these things. See those? Okay. One covered. Other one came off. One wasn't even on. Okay. Our uninterruptible power supply only takes one of them, um, takes three of these. But I do have another one that only takes one. So for now, I'm going to put the three in the one that takes three. Well, that looks like I'm in good shape. Huh? No damage, anyway. <coughs> Expert power. These are. <coughs> Sorry. 12 volt, 9 amp hour uh, batteries. So let's take apart the uninterruptible power. Okay, but now fair warning, I've had I did change batteries out of this before, but the batteries I changed them to, uh, one was good, the other uh, two were bad because I didn't have new ones. I have one new one, but the other ones were older. So let's. Um, this is a. 
a trip light. It is a um, Smart Pro uninterruptible power supply. It's a SM6705. Change out the batteries. All we need to do, take out six screws in the front. These things are heavy as heck. This thing is heavy as heck with the battery in it. I have to turn this a little bit here. I don't want to strip out the screw. There we go. I'm sorry I'm getting towards the edge of where you can see, but I don't want to strip out these screws. Let's see, it's just six in the front, two on the left side, two on the right side, and two in the middle. That was almost bad. have your control control console here and it's hold on with this cable so you have to be careful of that <coughs> here's the batteries just disconnect and I'm a, okay this one only has two batteries in it or does it have three Is a pain in the butt. So you have to notate the way the batteries are. So you have one battery, which is like this. That's this one. Second battery. These two keep the batteries separated. Now this battery There. 
Press it down. It's plugged. It's up. It's plugged. <coughs> Now this battery up is take that off here. Then our new battery. So negative on top. down below. So this is the way they go in. These are in the front. Now everything's plugged in. Now,
and she works. I would just get Good to go. Batteries are a little well, so batteries a little low, but she's on, she's working. Just needed three new batteries. Now this is what's going to keep everything running when the power goes out. Okay, this thing is wicked cool. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is. this back out. <coughs> Because of where it's going. I don't actually rack mount it. Her feet. Let's do 
is take this, there's two holes, use the inner hole. back we have all right now we've converted from being a rack mount to a uh, freestanding because I don't have a rack with eight outlets these two aren't switched this is an emergency power out I'm sorry emergency power off which is a, a plug that you put to a switch so you flick the switch and it turns it off you can do RS-232 to communicate with it, USB. This one has a special module that you can use a special cable for these two ports or Ethernet, which gives it a web interface. Fan keeps it cool, of course, and then you can I can plug an external battery into it, and that would provide more power for a longer time. <coughs> now, it's working. It's working properly because these lights are green before that battery was on but I am too pleased this thing works and it only cost me about fifty dollars and that was three batteries now the thing about these is when you're not using them they're not in use you have to charge them every three to four months otherwise it will ruin the integrity of the battery and that's what happened the batteries were a little older it was left uh, without being plugged in to anything just left uh, secured in, a, in actually a uh, server rack and uh, it was just not being used there's nothing wrong with it other than the batteries so now we're going to take this off so now it's going to breathe better yeah, that's breathing the whole way through, which this should have been taken off before it was ever put in use. Let me just put on the back of it. Thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, if it was useful to you, 
hit like, get subscribed. If you didn't like the video, well, you know what to do. And we will see you guys in the next one.